All right, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Aberration map. And today we are finally doing our very, very first cave. I'm really hoping it'll be fine. So when it comes to the caves on this map, there's only three of them. And by the sounds of it, the first one I'll be doing today is extraordinarily straightforward as long as you have a rock streak. Which is why I'm actually going to be recording the journey there as well, because it sounds like it might be a bit of a short episode otherwise. But also, with the caves, I honestly didn't realise I was actually technically ready. So you know how I said in the previous episode I've been slacking a lot? And uh, I've been live streaming a lot of operations as well. I had people ask me, so what am I doing in the caves? What am I ready? Like, am I ready? And I realised, actually, maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I am. Yeah, maybe I should go do that. So, oh god, so here we are. Whoa, gliding into the aberrant area. Oh man, that makes me nervous every time. <laughs> so majestic. So nerve-wracking. But here we are. In a radioactive biome. And the sound is glitching. Oh god. Absolutely majestic. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, why did I land on that? No! <laughs> what a what a dramatic entrance, guys. What an absolutely dramatic entrance. And while we're here, actually, while we're here, let me just point out one quick little thing. As I know it's been a bit of a a bit of a major thing, a bit of a major concern with this map. And just to make sure that you're all oh wait, wait where is he? There he is. Snappers is alive. He is alive. He is well. I did briefly try and get Snappers out of here. And in the process, oh, look at them two. And in the process, I nearly lost my rock drake. So what I was going to do with Snappers was to go and try and have him unfollow and have him follow me around and get out of this area. And in the end, I actually had Snappers fall under the map. Or under the mesh, more, more like. He fell under the mesh, nearly fell under the map. And when that happened, I kind of panicked a little bit and decided, you know what, you know what, I'll get Snappers when I'm ready. I will not do it just randomly unfollow. But anyway, that's, that's not the point of the episode. I just wanted to show you guys that he is here, he's alive, he is happy. And he's also a neutral. But yes, episode. So, caving. Caving, caving. I have no idea what this cave Well, I have an idea where this cave is, but I've never actually been in the area. So we're going to be seeing new areas on the map. And I am still very nervous about uh, the element. I do not like going near here at all ever since that one occurrence. Granted, I now have the um, Ascendant... Uh, red active suit, so I shouldn't die instantly if it happens again, but I'm just still, you know, really not willing. Ah, and here we have the wonderful giant skull. I still wonder, like, what made this. Like, it's bigger than a Giga, so I do. I'd love to see if, like, maybe an extinction. I know we have the Titans, but I'd love to see something that is basically this giant carnivore. I want to see whatever that is. Anyway, right, so we want to go over here by the looks of it. Like I said, not very familiar with the area, just quite happy to come and check it out. Check out the cave. It's going to be another rock drink trench, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Loads of eggs down here, but we've done, we've done a bit of enough of that recently, haven't we? I think we have. Right, just glide our way through. Can I jump onto that? No, I can't. Okay then. Where are we now? We we'll to be going this way, apparently. A bit more to the right. Yeah. Don't want to bother the other guys. So don't worry, Rock Drakes. I'm, I'm not taking your eggs this time. I'm just, just moving past. Don't worry about me. Right. Go over here. Now, this looks like the end of the trench, but I'm guessing it's going to be more afterwards, right? Uh, it kind of looks like the end. Like, what is over here? Maybe I've just gone to the wrong place entirely. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe I've just gone to the wrong place entirely. It kind of feels like I have, actually. Look at them two. <gasps> that one looks like Spectre's father. It isn't, you know, the wings are a different colour, but it looks like it. Mate, okay, look, die. 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 <laughs> 216. Oh, wow. Okay, now this does not seem like the right area. Uh, huh. Interesting. Okay, maybe I went the wrong area entirely. <sighs> okay. So like I said, I do want to try and get as much of this as I can on camera because the cave itself seems like it's going to be very quick and brief depending on if you go the rock drake tactic or not. And when I'd watched someone else do it, it took them about eight minutes. So, you know, I don't really want to release the eight minute videos. It's kind of, kind of lame. Especially when we only have one arc video a week, uh, two arc videos a week. 
So I'd rather, you know, like, have the experience, guys, you know, just sit back, chat, talk, you know, converse, communicate, ramble. <laughs> uh, actually, it's a question. Can I use a map while I'm, like, gripped on the wall? I can, good. Okay, so, let's go ahead then, get back out of it. It's clearly not the right area. It's very pretty, this area, but it's not the right area at all. So let's go ahead, make our way... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, look, there you go. Make our way back out. And, okay, we're here now. So there doesn't appear to be anything below, but maybe there's something above. Like, maybe there's another ledge that I've just completely... Wait, actually, how, how do I get... What the hell? All right, let's try that again. I do wonder what happens if you fly into the uh, elemental waterfall. Like, would, would it kill you? Because technically, it may just be a visual. But technically, they may have added a kill plane there, which would have um, been brutal to find out. Okay. So we're over here this time. Let's go ahead and just go on the wall. That way we can just chill for a moment. So I'm going that way, apparently. Over there. Did I just come from there, though? Hmm. Curious, curious. Okay, let's try that again, then. Maybe we, we weren't just there. Maybe I'm just going crazy. All right, let's go ahead, then. Now I'm pretty sure I was just here. Now, there appears to be something up there, though. All right, is there anything down here? No, it should say turn the light on, actually. That'd help, wouldn't it? Oh, the light was already on. There's nothing here. How strange. I could just imagine, like, right now, the people who have already done this cave are probably thinking, Ah, oh, it's right there! Turn around! Where? <laughs> actually, while I'm here, I can see an egg up there. Um, don't mind me, guys. You know, while I'm here, let me just quickly check out the level of that egg there. You never know. It might be good. Might be good. We can show you the uh, really quick way of traversing. Level 60. Yeah. Is there, like, another one here? No, okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's worth a check while we're here. It's definitely worth a check. Okay, so I came to the conclusion that I was probably in the wrong place entirely. I don't think it is meant to be all the way down at the bottom of the biome. I think it's meant to be more like, you know, on level of the blue. So, uh, my bad. Kind of wasted a fair amount of time there just, you know, flying around hoping I could find it. Okay, yeah, it's probably more like up here. This does seem a lot more familiar in terms of what I'd seen in other people's videos. So, I, right now, I'm just yellowing in, just going deep, far in, because it is, you know, like, all the way on the other side. Let's go ahead, then. Go over there. There's a blue spino down there. It looks really, really cool. Okay, then. i just chill here for a bit. Actually, what level is that spino? It looks a really cool colour. You are level, you are level 18. You are completely worthless. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, we're finally going into the right direction now. We're finally on the other side of the, um, you know, the boundary. Is that a hole there, or is that just a blue crystal? That's weird. Right. Go over here then. Over here. And one thing I actually do need to keep an eye on, which is really, really neat, is the the frill on my rock drake. So it turns out this is a bit of a thing, and you can notice this uh, greatly if you're in, say, the um, on the surface. And that is, when you're running around, if the frills on the rock drake kind of flare in a wave, so right now they're kind of tucked away, if they flare up and it looks really... Funky like a giant mohawk. It means there's our reapers nearby. Now I'm gonna guess it doesn't include uh, Reaper Kings summoned by. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see, you can see it now. It's all flared up. It means there's a queen or a king nearby. Oh god, there she is. Oh god, that was terrifying. No, I'm sorry. I was just showing the people. <laughs> oh god, there she is. Yeah, it worked. It works. Very bad, very bad explanation, but hopefully that made some sense. Where is she? Oh, there she- look at there! <gasps> that is honestly terrifying. What level is she? Can I see her level? Oh, that's a bad idea. Okay. I think, um, yeah, I think enough show and tell. Let's actually, like, get on with things. Oh, yeah, there's another one down there. Oh, you can see them. Right, yeah. Enough show and tell. Let's get on. So, the cave. The cave entrance. Uh, I believe... From what I could see, so I don't really know the coordinates. I'm not really that familiar with how the actual entrance itself looks. I think it's like a bit of a crevice into the wall. Crevice? I'm not sure that's the right word I want to use here. Uh, right, it's over there. It's behind me. Typical. Oh, what am I in combat with? Probably just nameless, actually. Screw it up. Yeah, it's a nameless. Right. Somewhere around 
Oh, actually, I think that's it right there. That big ominous blue entrance there might be the cave. It's a purple drop. Screw it, I'm not getting that. Right, this may be the cave, actually. Just gonna slowly glide it. Yep, this is definitely it. I did read about how you had to jump up, basically. You needed a creature that can jump. Right, this should be the cave of the, what's it called? Of the elemental vault. Oh, this definitely looks cavey. This is eerie. Hmm. Yep, this is it. Right. It only took us like what? How? <laughs> Let me just check. How long have we been recording for? 16 minutes. Well, I, want to, I wanted to talk. I wanted to show you everything. Okay, so. Basically, this cave. This cave, the way it's been described is it's extraordinarily densely packed. And it is uh, apparently, arguably, very, very difficult to brute force. However, you can either jump up the Kokonos or... If I camo, I can just do this, you know, just run along the ceiling with a uh, rock drake. Now, I want to be looking for something here. I want to be looking for... Actually, before I go any further, what direction am I currently pointing? That way, okay. Actually, that's not the direction. Right, well, anyway. What I want to be looking for is a couple of crystals. God damn, yeah, that is a lot of creatures, isn't it? Jesus. I want to be looking for a bunch of blue crystals high up. It's meant to be like platforms and such. I think I'm meant to be like basically near the top. I really probably shouldn't have yellowed in, should I? That may have been actually a very <laughs> a very silly idea. Well, actually, that looks familiar up here. And there's no creatures here, as you guys can see. So turn the camo off for a moment then. That is something I need to remember to use more often. The camo is awesome. But I keep forgetting it's a thing. Right. Go around here. And basically, from what I read, or from what I've seen, the upper platforms here basically just lead you straight to the um, to the artifact. Wow. Actually, this is a very big cave. God damn. Right then. Can I jump? I can. Now, I guess my only real issue here is my hazmat suit. So this is a radioactive area, so I'm pretty much fine. I can take my time, except for the suit. That is where things become a bit of an issue. This seems familiar here. Oh god, hello. Poor glowbug. All of this here seems quite familiar. Is this the area that... I what the hell is that? <laughs> Weird thing just flying around there. This seems familiar. Oh god, that's... Oh, there you go. <laughs> there's the artifact, guys. <laughs> right there is the artifact. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and just kill everything quickly, then. 120. What level are these creatures, actually? I don't know what level these are. 114? It seems like a fairly regular... Yeah, okay, these are regular spawns. Alright, let's kill you quickly. That's all the seekers dealt with. Let's turn the light back on. Say a glow tail just chilling there. Let's kill these as well. Oh, that actually... Did that actually hit me? Okay, thank goodness it didn't, right? As I, um... I didn't realise I should have repaired my helm before I got here because I'm only running on one helm. So I'm actually kind of uh, limited in terms of time. Right, but we're here. Let's turn your camo off. Let's get some stamina. Right then. And I just pick up the artefact of the stalker. Just like that. So we have so we have the artefact. That's good. I can't put it in you, can I? No. Right. So now I'm going to find my way back. Which should not be too hard. But as I said, it is, uh, I'm a bit concerned in terms of my my suit. <laughs> but I'll just come back from the way I came in, basically. So I just want to backtrack here. Another feather light just chilling there. Right, so it was all of these areas here. Let's go over here. So basically I was just high up in general. It's high up and I went a fairly linear path. So I'm not going to carry on going this direction here. I should be quite safe. Should being the absolute key word here. I'm pretty sure I was here earlier as well. Right, cool. Let's turn a cam off as well so you can just regenerate for a bit. Actually, there's no point in doing that. Right, let's go up here. And down there. There you go. So now I'm on a, another flat plane. Right. Is that where I came from? Is that water? Actually, that kind of looks like water down there. I do not think that is where I came from. No, I don't think it is at all. Right, so this is where things are going to get a little bit scary for me. Just go back up then. Let's come back up here, just chill for a moment, and let's get our stamina back then. 
Right now, well, in terms of the map, the direction I was pointing, I, I want to be going basically this way. Right. Basically, that away. Now then. Here's the moment where I realise I could potentially be stuck. <laughs> right. Let's go down here then. Basically, I want to be looking for where I came back. It well, funny that actually. I want to be looking for um, these steps, the giant steps. So the entire entrance into here, uh, while the cave itself is very, very large, the entrance itself is a very narrow hallway. So it's going to be one of those things where as soon as I see it, you know, I know I'm in the right direction. In fact, I think I just saw it over there. No, I did not. But I've seen another thing in regards to a uh, a elemental fall. Probably should have gone that way instead, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably should have. Right. Let's just have a bit of a look around for a sec. There you go. Yeah, there's the elemental fall. I did see people go through this way as well on the way back out. Let's try here. Let's go back up here. Huh. Maybe over there? Oh, actually, this looks promising. Or is it just a dead end? That should say dead end. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys. It's no wonder why I wasn't able to find the entrance or the exit. Because I didn't even bloody finish watching the video. Right then, so. What I basically want to do here is get underneath. Go around. And basically, I'm going to be looking for two major entrances or exits. Whatever you want to call it. So, uh, ahead there. Yep, there they are. I'm going to want to go back down to the waterfall. See, I knew the elemental fall had a significance. I just, um, you know, stopped the video before seeing it. <laughs> right, so, all right, so there's the elemental fall. We've got a blue crystal there. We've got another blue crystal further ahead to the left. Let me see. Yep, that one in there. Cool. I'm going to be going to my right over here. And then basically just follow this way out. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's funny what happens, guys, when you, you know, not only should you do your research before doing these things, but you should actually finish it. <laughs> but here we go. And just like that. So I can see how, um, if, you know, if you get on with it, if you do it really nice and quick, you're confident, etc. I can see this being extraordinarily quick and easy to finish, like just instant. I can definitely see this cave being very easy to farm. Now, if I just, uh, you know, stay here for a moment, get my stamina back, because there are Reaper Queens in this area. And by the way, guys, so a lot of you who have been asking me, I will be getting a Reaper King. I definitely do want to do that. I, um, I kept on saying I wasn't ready, you know, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, and I kind of didn't realise that technically I kind of am ready, you know. All I need to do is build a trap and, oh god, and I'll be good to go. Oh, there's a queen down there. <laughs> but I definitely... There she is, oh god, that was menacing. I definitely, definitely do plan on doing that, so don't you worry, guys. There she is. Look at that one. What level are you? Come on. Let me see your level. I at least want to see the level. No? Not allowed? You're just going to stand there looking majestic and... Oh god, hello. <laughs> oh god. Tilly for me to do that. Right then. Actually, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, like, messing around here a little bit too much, aren't I? Just, just happy seeing the new areas, just happy being distracted. No, meanwhile, my radiation suit. Right, let's go ahead then and work our way back out then. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's stop messing around now and let's work our way back out. Got another one of those weird holes there. That hole is like, that's, is that a hole or a crystal? I think it's meant to be like a hole in the terrain there, which is really weird considering how deep down this area is. Kind of weird to have like a ray of sunshine pointing out. Right, anyway. Aiming for uh, to be above the lake here. So the lake, I'm pretty sure, is where I'm going to find the uh, skeleton and such. Actually, I may be wrong entirely there. Oh, yeah, I am wrong. You can tell I've never been here before, can't you? Right. Am I going to be safe here? Yeah, okay. Let's take a quick little moment then. And of course, secrets. And nameless. Ah, damn it. I know I said I wanted to uh, length out the episode a little bit, but I didn't didn't mean this much. <laughs> so uh, that's a that is a genuine my bad there. Just quite happy, just checking everything out and then forgetting. Ah, I might die if I do that. Okay, good. We've got blue trees over there. The blue trees are just a really nice, big, obvious. Okay, you're in safe territory now. Let's work our way back over. And uh, yeah. Moral of the story, guys, is um, don't get distracted. <laughs> and especially so, the cave is not at the bottom of the biome like I expected. It is actually just, you know, just barely, 
on the same plane. But yeah, still radioactive area. There's a red creature that has a lot of ravages, Jesus Christ. There we go. Let's get back out and we are no longer in radioactive territory. And from this point onwards, it's going to be really nice and easy to find the uh, rest. For the other two caves... <sighs> so yeah, for the other two caves... Now, from what I understand, the other two caves on this map is that they are both... Um, th they're a lot harder. They're definitely a lot harder. One of them has a major underwater portion. And the other one... Well, basically both of them you can't bring tames in. Uh, you can bring some tames into the uh, first half of a cave, but other than that, you know, there's kind of no point. So I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, especially my, my little crappy pump action. So I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to be doing them two, but I will be doing them two quite soon. And obviously when I finish them two, it means I can actually take on Rockwell, the boss. Uh, Rockwell is another thing that I've not actually been preparing for, mainly because I wasn't really aware of how surprisingly on the way I was to it. You know, I expected it to be a long way away. So I expect the next couple of episodes will probably be preparation in terms of boss battles. Like I said. I will be getting a Reaper King as well. I definitely do want to do that. I definitely want to get some more Karkonos as well because I've been, you know, Karkonos are useful and I kind of mucked it up last time, didn't I? <laughs> so I definitely do want to try it again. But expect uh, a lot of boss battling preparation incoming. Probably lots of uh, rigorous Spino breeding <laughs> or whatever the ideal tactic is. But here we go. We're back at base, guys. and We have the artifact of the Stalker. It took a lot longer than I, than um, it was meant to. I'll, I'll be honest, it took much, much too long. But hopefully it was for an entertaining episode, and as always, just a nice little chat. I like chatting with you guys, hopefully you don't mind me rambling absolute nonsense for the entire time. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll go ahead and wrap it up here then. All this boss passing happening on the island is about to be happening on Aberration as well now. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and hopefully you learnt, you learnt what not to do with uh, this cave <laughs> and as always if you want to see more do subscribe hit the notification bell or button or whatever just hit it multiple times to make sure it actually worked it turned on etc huge huge thanks to all my supporters to everyone helping make all of this possible thank you for watching guys and as always i'll catch you all next time take care